And what's up guys, CW here again from Consider It Health and today we come to another Minute to Consider It. And today's topic is playing the comparison game. Now what brought this up is during this pandemic, I've been asking patients, you know, how, how are you doing? How are you, how are you holding up? And a lot of patients have said, you know, I'm, I'm doing all right. It's, it's been actually really tough. But you know, I, I know I should be grateful because you know, a lot of people are totally worse off than me. They're really suffering, but so I, I should be grateful. I, I, but I, I'm, I'm okay. You know, when I hear something like that, my response, at least in my head, is this. Yes, it's true that oftentimes we should be grateful and we should be counting our blessings, especially when we realize other people are suffering way more than we are. Um, and so if, it, if seeing that and understanding that leads us to gratitude, that's a great thing. But if it leads us to guilt instead, or leads us to downplay or minimize the experience, that's not good because other people's suffering does not negate nor minimize what someone else is totally legitimately going through, or what you are going through at the moment. So playing that comparison game of this person's suffering way more because they have X in their life, when mine is Y here, and if you just compare apples to apples, it seems like theirs is way worse. That may actually not be valid, and that's not helpful to do oftentimes. And on the contrary, oftentimes when people look at people that are way better than them or they're recovering faster from a surgery or they're responding wonderfully to a dietary intervention and they say, why am I not like that? Right? And it's like, I've been doing everything right, I thought. Well, again, everybody's different and there is different individualized experiences, there's different genetics, there's different inputs and other lifestyle factors that you may never understand. So there is also a danger of comparing to people better better than us or people that are responding better to a certain treatment or a certain lifestyle intervention. So be careful of playing the comparison game because we are all individualized beings. We are all different. Even twins are different. And so just keep that in mind when you go through your health. You are your own person and hopefully your doctor or your PA or your other practitioner honors you as such. And so I just want you to think about that. So that's today's topic of a minute to consider it. And until next time, be well.